Hello Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, JCC2224 back again bringing you another Star Wars action figure review. Today I have a review of the Ponda Babble Walrus Man figure. And before we go on to this really, really nice and well detailed figure, let's go on to the packaging. Now I actually practically spent no money at all on this thing. I just traded some UPC codes for it. Limited edition Boba Fett. I um, sent my five UPCs, money and certificate in already, so I am expecting him. I will review him. We have the redemption. I will show you that. The bubble. A nice image of Ponda Baba. This figure is called Ponda, Ponda Baba Walrus Man. The original Star Wars logo, and all that hella blue. Oops, sorry. The base fell. Nothing to worry about. Now here's the vintage Ponda Baba card. Um, they used Art Wolk for the original one instead of an image. They just called him Walrus Man back then. If you want to pause the video and read that, you may. Other figures included. Rebel Soldier, yet to find. Basila, don't really want. And these are honestly going to be released next year. I, you know, they delayed it. It's the vintage packaging. Really cool. Oh, wait. I'll show you the certificate. Uh, I don't want to open it. I'll open it a little bit. See all that. Yeah. I want to keep an authentic certificate because if they do not um, accept my printout, I printed out um, before they change the rules. Um, if they do not accept that, I will do that. Now, on to this marvelous figure. This um, vintage collection figure is definitely one of the best vintage collection figures. I mean, he has the really nice detailing, the tusks look perfect, and his head, you can see there, has detailing. He has a really nice cup included, it looks like milk, white milk, I do not like white milk, I like chocolate milk. <laughs> that was a pointless fact about me. He comes with a gun. Actually, this is not the gun that he has. This is um, Eviston's gun. But in the movie, um, he his decap his cut off arm was shown with this gun. Um, his legs are really nice. He has a holster that actually has detailing. I don't think it interlocks. It just looks like it can. I think you can place the gun in there. any way you want, like that, other way, any way you want. This figure has modern articulation. You know, just regular swivel. That swivel. Um, he has a vest that has a similar movement to the Rebel Fleet Trooper. Just let me get my Rebel Fleet Trooper. I really want to show you the different, I mean, the similar movements. Sorry if that took a little bit. It most likely did. Um, here's the Bubble Fleet Troopers vest and Ponda Babas. As you can tell, they are not the same. But um, they do have similar kind of style where the vest goes is part of the of the uh, torso but goes um, beyond it. Yeah. He comes with alternate pieces actually. It comes with two alternate hands, two hands like this, and you can pop off this arm. Just wait a second. Oh, 
really powerful. He can pop off that arm. Sorry, I just had to correct that. And place a cut off arm in its place. And you can even remove that. Whoa. <laughs> that just shows you how hard it is to remove it. It actually shakes the entire set around. See that cup shaking. Cut off arm. Ugh. You honestly decide the story. Is he a mercenary that says he doesn't like Luke? Or is he just an architect that says he likes Luke's hair? <laughs> I just had to say that. That was a funny robot chicken. You can actually attach that. It You can put a hand in there. Like one of the alternate hands. He was seen with these alternate hands while he was, um, like... Like when he tapped Luke's shoulder, he was shown with these hands. But when his arm was cut off, he was shown with the furry ones. I really like this figure. If you're one of the fortunate ones to uh, just have to do that, to find him on the internet or um, in a store, most likely on the internet you'll be able to find him. But if you're fortunate enough to find this figure, get him. Even if you're a Clone Wars figure and collect figure collector, you have to get this figure. He is really nice, really rare. Even if you don't want him, you can trade him for tons of stuff, you know. Really, really nice figure. And, um, I've yet to find the rest of the wave. Um, I do not want, really, I really do not want Bastila or, um, Key and Farlander, concerning I already have a Key and Farlander. But, um, I do want, um, the Echo Base Trooper. Yet to find him. So, hope you enjoyed this, um, seven minutes and um, 21 second Star Wars action figure review. I will be reviewing the um, prototype Boba Fett once he arrives. Um, have a good day and may the force be with you.